Google's employees were shocked when they learned in March that the South Korean consumer electronics giant Samsung was considering replacing Google with Microsoft's Bing as the default search engine on its devices. The company executives were firm on their decision and weren't in any mood to change, and if Google was not able to meet the requirements of Samsung, it would mean Google might lose its contract with Samsung, resulting in a loss of $3 billion a year in revenue. The same issues are faced with Google's contract with Apple, which is worth up to a whopping $20 billion a year in revenue, which is up for renewal this year. Google has been doing AI research for years. Its DeepMind lab in London is considered one of the best AI research centers in the world, and the company has been a pioneer with AI projects such as self-driving cars and the so-called large language models that are used in the development of chatbots. In recent years, Google has used large language models to improve the quality of its search results but held off on fully adopting AI because it's been prone to generating false and biased statements, but after what happened with Samsung, they wanted to take no chances. So they put together a team of nearly 160 of Google's best engineers, scientists, and designers that have been working full-time on the project and reports of people working on the project being called in just for the testing of the product have been said. This product is referred to as Magi. Google has not yet provided any details on this project, and it's not clear when Magi is going to be released for the general public. It came to light after Google released its own chatbot called Bard, but this is completely different. Many reports suggest that Magi will come equipped with state-of-the-art AI models like deep learning and massive neural networks, and to further improve the experience, the AI will take the users' data, including location and previous search histories, to create even more accurate responses. Magi will most likely be an all-in-one AI, meaning every Google tool will already be integrated into it and transactions can be done with no issues. You'd be able to book flights, movie tickets, hotels, and even order food and groceries through it. And payment can be done simply by using Google's own app, Google Pay. The planned search additions could also answer questions about software coding and write code based on a user's request. Google may place an ad under the computer code answers, according to the document making it a very lucrative switch for users of ChatGPT as Google is a more trusted brand. Unlike current versions of Google search engines, which give you just the related links to your search, Magi is an AI based on language learning model, meaning it's much more likely to generate personalized results as its ability to understand general language will be enhanced. It's set to compete directly with Microsoft's Bing, which has been using AI to do the same. The search engine will definitely use the massive leverage that will be created by connecting Magi to Google's existing capabilities, as its advanced AI and algorithms would help understand the context and intent behind the searches prompted by the users, resulting in more conversational and natural language search experience. It'll most likely have a chat-like interface, and will also come with other AI that are in development alongside it, including Jifi, which uses AI to generate images in Google image results, and AI like Tivoli Tutor, which can teach users new languages through open-ended AI conversations. Along with other useful AI products like Search Along, which is a chatbot designed to help users search for information while searching the web, it can scan entire pages and the rest of the internet to find relevant information to provide as a response. With this, you'll be able to find popular activities near you, Airbnb, or any other rental. The bot will scan for relevant information and provide a list of activities for the user to engage upon. It is also highly likely that Google will use its latest AI for Google Earth's mapping technology, making travel super easy and fun. It could add features like hotspots to visit during your road trips. It's rumored to be used for searching various kinds of music just by conversing with the chatbot making finding songs really easy. You can also use this to find what kind of instruments are played in the background. Initially, Google is supposed to launch Magi just for the users of the United States for testing. It's assumed that in the first phase of testing, the product will be available to around a million users, and after those tests are successful, then it'll be released to more and more devices. It's set to reach nearly 30 million daily users by one year of its official release. Though the official date has not been announced, many believe that the Google I.O. event will most likely be where Google will announce it. The I.O. event is held on 10th of May 2023, leaving Google employees less than a month to finish the product. With Magi, Google will most likely pre-install it with your personal data to give you a more precise and targeted set of advertisements while searching or purchasing products. It will also include ads and search results so that companies can still promote their products the same way that they did before. 
Google is most likely to load Magi with as many features as possible to stay the industry leader that it has been for decades, but the competition this time is quite tough with Microsoft and many other Chinese companies developing AI at a rapid rate. Google will have to come up with the very innovative and possibly game-changing ideas to come out victorious in this battle for the lead. But don't you worry, because we'll provide you with all the information you need to stay up to date with today's fast-moving world. To stay updated to the latest technological advancements, make sure to subscribe to the channel as we bring the most detailed and informative AI news for your entertainment. That was all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and tell us in the comments, are you excited for Magi or not? And we'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.